Hey everybody, I hope all is well during your 2022 summer season. A couple of questions, concerns, and just Q&A. There's a bird's nest on top of my gutter. I'll give you a full view so you get a chance to see. No power lines, no cable lines, nothing really disturbing. So they decided to pick the top of the gutter instead of the tree, which, okay, it's out of the elements because of the overhang. And so my question to you is, one, I usually leave it alone. It's not bothering me. It's not stopping my life. It's not leaking. It's not creating a problem. It has nothing to do with the summer, winter, spring, or fall. It's a bird's home, or it was a bird's home, that a mother gave birth, put eggs in it, and whatever these birds are called here, um, or whatever nest that decided to house, which is, was definitely a bird, or birds, is now, I think, inhabitable, and is just there. Now, will other birds come in, or will other birds take the nest? I don't know how that works with Mother Nature. So, question one, and answer one, is I'm leaving it alone. I will leave it until I put up the Christmas lights to that plug. And the extension ladder will go right here. And then I will look inside. And if I determine that nothing's there, I will just pick it up and throw it on the ground. That's what I'm going to do. And that's probably right around Thanksgiving into December for the Christmas lights. Unless it decapitates itself and falls apart. That's not a word. Um, so this little Thursday short film is a question and concerns on what would you do. And it's okay. I'm going to do what I told you, so I don't care what you say, but what would you do? Would you go up there? Would you look at it? Would you get rid of it now? Would you put it in the garbage? Would you throw it on the floor? Just use your imagination. What would you do if a nest was technically not bothering you? There's no power lines. It's on the other side of the house. It's out of the way. It's inhabitable because there's no birds in it. There's no birds coming to it. Um, I do, I have seen other nests around my life. And if there are small birds in it, they will be chirping, chirp, chirp, chirp. And other birds will come in, probably the mother bird, and feed it. So I mowed the lawn last week. I looked down, I cleaned around. I didn't see any dead birds because sometimes a bird will be either rejected or it will try to fly and not work and just nature. So that's going to be today's short. What would you do? Light it on fire? Throw it out? Throw it on the floor? Leave it? Put a Snickers bar in it? I don't fucking know. Uh-oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Just want to show you it. It's droopy, which means it probably hasn't been used or maintained. And the reason it's droopy because it probably got wet or damp and whatever that is dead grass and other stuff it's probably just bleh. so i don't think it's being used again there would be other contributing factors that on a daily basis we would know i've had a nest in this tree over the years that you could see off the deck and just, like enjoy the nest I will tell you one thing though, is when there are birds in it and they're just bop, 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 it, you know, sorry bird lovers, but it's effing annoying. Bop, 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 because they're constantly hungry. So I noticed this last week. It could have been here, God knows how long. So give me your insight. Let me know. I could Google New York, Long Island birds and probably tell you exactly what would have been in there. Whatever those birds are, not sparrows, but. Your typical, the typical little ones, whatever they're called, finks. Anyway, I'm wasting your time. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Here's a little Thursday short for you. Leave a comment below. No comment too stupid. No comment too smart. Take it easy.